women throughout the entire world are using their voices. Four days after I sent that initial Me Too tweet, I got a phone call from UNICEF saying that a little girl from Ethiopia had heard about the Me Too movement and her and nine of her friends uh, reported a teacher that was sexually assaulting all of them. We need men to say, I'm not gonna allow that kind of talk around me. Or, I saw you do that to her, and I'm not gonna stand for that around me. This movement, whether you call it Me Too or, or just the, the search for, or the quest for gender equality, uh, we're not gonna ever achieve it if men are not involved in helping us along the way. Women just have to keep using their voices. They have to be uh, aware, to, they have to know that they are important, that we see them, that we hear them, that we understand them, that we believe them, and they have to be nurtured, and they have to be uh, encouraged to speak out without being penalized. And I think that to be able to cross boundaries, to recognize that we are all human, that we are all women, that we will all stand together, to stand in solidarity and to use this collective pain that we all feel and really harness it and transform it into collective power, I think will really change things. Stand up for human rights, stand up for women's rights.